Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So, a little different today, it's pitch black, but I definitely wanted to get this video up for you guys. So today we are going to be talking about my favorite nude lips. If you know me, you know I love a nude lip. But before we get into the footage, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the family, and hit that post notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's get started. Lip liner you need a good one. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> so preferably one that is one to two shades deeper than your natural lip line. My favorite is the ColourPop BFF 2 liner. I've talked about these all the time. They also come in BFF 1, 2, 3, and 4 depending on your skin tone. So choose whichever one fits you best. Now on days where I want a more defined look, I'll go in with my KKW Nude Number no. 2 lipstick. I will say, this is exactly the same as BFF number three. This is 12 bucks, I think. This is six. Go for this. It's half the price and literally looks the same. I'll go ahead and swatch these. So as you can see, we have BFF two over here and then next to that we have the KKW one. Both beautiful, both love them, but again, this is half the price, so just get this one. Moving on to lipsticks, my favorite. I have a couple here to choose from, so I'm gonna start off with the NYX ones, the NYX Butter Lipsticks. I will say they phase out the best colors so often, and I hate it, but I will say, one of them, Snack Shack Canteen, is technically now called Root Beer Float. I swear they just changed the shade name and left the shade exactly the same. Not much has changed. So luckily you can still get that. I also did find a store on Amazon that sells these now for nine bucks. I think the original price is six. So for three extra dollars, you get this. I say it's worth it because this is my personal favorite, but let me go ahead and swatch them. Snack Shack Canteen is definitely more of like a deeper nude, almost a little bit mauve just a teeny bit. And Tan Lines is more of a like terracotta, like warm sun kissed. I'm Snack Shack Canteen, AKA Root Beer Float. And then over here we have Tan Lines. And what I love about these is how hydrating they are. They, all, they are called butter lipsticks, so they don't last that long on the lips, unfortunately. However, they're so affordable that you can reapply all the time. And you know, I've had no problems. I absolutely love them. The next item that we have is, I've talked about this again all the time, the Lorac lipstick, the collab with Rachel Zoe. This is in the shade Ginger Blonde. Now this was part of a trio with a lipstick and a lip gloss and liner. It was limited edition, which is super sad, but Ulta still carries it in some locations. So if you do happen to find this, definitely pick it up. It's again, it's actually very similar to Root Beer Float or Snack Shack Canteen now that I'm kind of talking about them and looking at them. This is what she looks like right here. The next item is again, another item from ColourPop. Also, before we swatch, can we like look at how beautiful this is? This is like super high quality, but this is their Lux lipstick and I have the shade Third Eye. And if you, hopefully you can see this on camera, but there are little stars embossed in it. It's so, so pretty. This is a matte, but it like kind of feels like a satin lipstick. So it's not really matte, but it's not transfer proof. They call it matte, but it's not like totally, totally matte, like a liquid lipstick dried down, can't feel anything. So here she is in all of her beauty. I love this one as well. I'm actually wearing this right now. I love it again, like it feels like a, I feel, I don't feel like I have anything on the lips, which is incredible and they last forever and they feel so nice. So totally get them. The one thing again though, is that they phase the color out, which I hate and I don't understand why they do that. However, ColourPop has so many new nudes that they're introducing. So I have no doubts you'll be able to find an even more beautiful nude on the website. And lastly, we have Miss Wet n Wild. I've also talked about this before, but this is the liquid cat suit and this is in the shade Send Nudes. Now this is a very glossy finish. It is a Envision, like putting a lipstick in the microwave. It's literally like a liquefied lipstick. So very opaque, very glossy, very high shine, stays on the lips forever and a day. The most beautiful nude, this is her right up here. The other thing is, is like these are $5 and you can get it at like Walmart, CVS, Target, but a lot of the times they do like buy one, get one, like half off or buy one, get one for free. 
So I don't understand how they do it at such an affordable price. The very last item is a staple. I'm going to tell you guys what my favorite version of this is, but by no means do you have to get this exact one. Any will do, but this is a clear gloss. Now I've talked about this formula before. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, and this is in the shade 02 Ice. You can also buy, this technically is like a light pink, but I mean it swatches clear. They also have 01 Pearl, which is again, the same thing. Key things I look for in a lip gloss are thin consistency, not sticky, and high shine lasts a long time. This has all three of those qualities and all under 10 bucks, so like, why wouldn't you get this? Honestly, the whole line is incredible. I literally have every single color that comes in this collection. I cannot, I can't say more good things about them. I really can't. And like, another thing is, is like you spend all this time trying to find your perfect nude only to put a gloss on top of it and totally distort the color. So for me, it makes more sense to go in with the clear gloss because then I have the best of both worlds. My favorite nude, matte, satin, and glossy if I prefer. And guys, that completes today's video. So I think the key takeaway here is make sure you are using lip liner. You can make any nude work so long as you have your right lip liner. Again, the ColourPop BFF line is just so good. I can't, you just, just buy one. Buy one and you'll thank me later. Also, there are a ton of promo codes that you can use for ColourPop that get you 10% off. I don't have one, but just Google one. I'm sure like a ton will come up and that way you save even more money. And also, if you don't want to order online, you can also get these from Ulta. I hope I was able to give you guys recommendations that are actually useful. So I know a lot of these shades are sold out. However, I think the biggest takeaway is it doesn't matter what shade of nude you have. If you have a good liner you can make anything work so I hope that you're able to find some of this stuff if not I at least gave you the brands that I love so that, that way you can explore what nudes they do have and make whatever options that they do have work for you and with that guys I will see you in the next one bye